trout rods, salmon rods, striper rods, helmet rods, downrigger rods, lead core rods, spinning rods, and more. If you want a high quality, high performance rod that won't let you down out on the water, go to fishhuntshoot.com and check out our selection of high quality, high performance fishing rods. Ooh, daddy. It's because I'd see them come up, I'd see that rod tip go bink. Woo! <laughs> He's got me buried right now. Oh man, the high Sierras, what a special place. Late fall, great time of the year. Just ab absolutely fantastic. Just an apex trout fishing experience. 33 feet away. Now he's coming with the kayak. Oh, 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 oh. A lot of head shaking going on down there. He doesn't know what to do. Just pedaling enough to keep forward momentum, keep this other line up off the bottom and keep this guy out here where, where I need him to be. Ooh, he ran at the downrigger cable. Twice. <laughs> Ooh, he's pulling drag now, that's a nice fish. Tired, but I'm trying to get him in the right position. Oh, look at that slug. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess I found the big fish. Look at those big, beautiful rainbows. That's what trolling flies can do. You think trolling flies don't work? Well, think again. You need to grab a set of my trolling flies, get out on the water, and get ready to go big. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. That drag is perfect. Hey guys, Kel Kellogg here. I've just started trolling here at a high Sierra Lake, and uh, I am checking the drags on both rods. Got two lead core rods out, and that's a great tip. When you start out fishing, check out your gear, make sure your knots are perfect, check your drag, make sure everything's in working order, because I don't expect to catch anything big here, but you never know. There's a small population of big browns in this lake, and one could come knocking at any time. And the last thing I want to do is hook the trout of a lifetime and find out my drag is locked down all the way and he snaps my eight pound test leader. So check out your gear, put yourself in a position for success. And you do that by doing little things, the little details count, Check your drag, check your knots, check for frayed line, check out all your gear, make sure everything's functional. And uh, when that big fish comes knocking, you're going to be smiling because you're going to put them in the boat or the kayak. That's a quick tip. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. If you're looking for lead core rods or any of the other gear you see here on the channel, go on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Thanks for all the support, guys. I will catch you later. You have a great day.